The anti-terrorism force protection barriers in Augusta Bay, Sicily are inspected every three years. This task is carried out by members of the underwater construction team, a small group of diver qualified Seabees. Builder first class Joseph Bickham tells us the reason for these inspections. The sea life, you know, tends to, to gravitate towards the, the chain. It gives them something to grab onto and, you know, you think the steel is, is a pretty hard, you know, piece of equipment down there on the bottom of the ocean, but with all that rocking and rolling that the ocean does, you'll see a two-inch chain get down to, to a toothpick sometimes, and it's, it's pretty impressive. Team members spent two weeks in Augusta Bay performing the inspections, using brushes, hammers, and chisels to clear debris from the chains and anchors that hold the barriers in place. Once they get a good clean chain, we have a, a tool. Um, it's a calibrated device. It's a go-no-go no, go gauge, and it'll show us uh, greater than 90% of the diameter of the chain or less than 80% of the diameter of the chain, and that's the data we use to, to send forward to the engineer. Bickham admits that the schooling was tough, but he welcomes the challenges that come with being a diver and is happy with his choice to become a member of the underwater construction team. I enjoy being a construction worker, a builder, so I still get to use my skills on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, when we're out, out to sea and on deployment and stuff. And then uh, the diving side of it is just a whole other aspect, you know. I got paid to go diving today in, in Augusta Bay, so it feels really good. From Augusta Bay, Sicily, I'm Petty Officer Donovan Patubo.